Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Tuesday, May 17th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, before I get to the watch list, I first want to personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering later on in the week. So if you're liking what you see here and you want to learn more about this tool, then definitely get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you like what you see here, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Couple quick clarification points. First off, this number over here on the various charts will be changing up and down as I go along with the candlestick right here. Uh, that's because the market's still open for a little bit of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open for a small amount because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day type price movement. However, the market is still close enough to being done for the day where everything I talk about will still be relevant on Tuesday. And then I will be also using the 30 minute time frame. So for you beginners out there, what that means is each one of these candlesticks here as they're called represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, SNDL, huge move today. Got a breakout through this key level of resistance that I talked about last week down there at the 41 cent mark. And that's also where the first update comes into play. And this update just based on a foundational rule in uh, charts, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So let's go from red to green there. And I'm also just gonna get rid of that line down there, do some house cleaning. Sure, it still pertains to the chart, just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint where I sit, I don't wanna risk causing you know confusion because there's lines and clutter all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. As far as near term level, so you have 41 cents down here, but in terms of levels that would make this chart look the absolute best moving forward, that would be right there at 44 cents. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 44, that doesn't mean the entire chart's destroyed or ruined. However, if the price can stay above it, that would certainly be a great sign of power. And then as far as resistance levels are concerned, key level to watch closely gonna be right up there at the 48 cent. Nothing fancy or complicated behind that other than the fact that that's just simply where the momentum and partly finally stopped today. So 48 cents will be that key breakout point. But all in all, anyway, look at it, very impressive way to start the week. Next one, AGRI, and this is exactly why I like to do these when the market's still open, because check it out as I speak. Going for the breakout here, you can see the price over there fluctuating. And this will be a little interesting because when you watch this, I could very well see the price potentially having been broken out through this 265 level. So as of now, as of the recording, 265 is still technically a level of resistance. However, like I said, when you watch this video, ask yourself, where's the price relative to 265? If the price is above it, well, then that's a significant breakout. How strong of a breakout, how significant of a breakout? Well, very easy to answer that. Well, how far above the price is 265? The further up above 265, the more powerful and more very, very impressive of a breakout. Or I'm not saying it will break out, but like I said, if you are answering the question that, yeah, the, the price is actually above 265, now that you're looking at the chart, uh, well then, like I said, you'll know that a breakout has occurred. Uh, but overall, any way you look at it, you can see very, very strong. Last 30 minutes going on right now, volume is increasing getting that good solid. I'd love to catch your breakup potentially as I record, but I wanna keep us moving here. As far as levels of support are concerned, key pullback area right there at $2.20 and then a much deeper pullback. And I, I suppose it could happen, you never know, but would be that 200 period moving average, that pink line down there valued at $1.83. But like I said, that, that'd be a pretty big pullback at this point for it to go all the way down there. So I think the more relevant and most relevant level of support, who knows, maybe this is even irrelevant at this point in time, would be $2.20. But yeah, I think all eyes will be watching that level at 265 and let's see if the breakout can happen or not. Next one, M-U-L-N, very nice day today, not only just because it was green, however, from a technical point of view, it got up through that level of resistance right there, which I talked about in previous videos. So in other words, you know, in technical jargon, a breakout is underway. Now it's just a question of how much more momentum can this breakout pick up? And the level here that now everybody and their brother's uncle is gonna be watching is all about that pink line, which as I've already talked about, is a 200 period moving average. I mean, talked about the power of technical charts. I mean, think about it. Price broke through that thread line, big move up, big move up, and then what a coincidence right where the price actually stopped and then pulled back a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. Does that mean that the price can never push up through that level? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price did stumble right up around that area. So as of right now, that main level of resistance going moving forward is gonna be that 200 period moving average, which as you can see over here, valued at $1.18. So $1.18 will be public enemy number one. I'll go ahead and get rid of that level as it served its purpose for now and also adjust this area of support up to right there at the former breakout point, right around $1.07. So if there is any sort of pullbacks, $1.07 seven gonna be main area of support. And again, that 200 period moving average, main level of resistance. Next one, AMC, and certainly officially have a sideways channel here that has formed. 
This will mean a bit more to those that watched the video from last week. But if you did, talked about 1250 being a level of resistance and 1150 being the level of support. I mean, check it out today. Both levels were uh, tested, generally speaking. Price came up here during the early part of the day around 1150. Could not hold, got rejected back down, came all the way down to that green line at 1150. And the bulls did a good job of holding strong and then provided a little bit of a bounce right there. But as right now, taking a step back, all the price is doing now, second day in a row of just chopping back and forth. So 1250 down to 1150, up to 1250, back to 1150. And now it's starting a little bit of a bounce right there. So nothing has really changed per se. Still a big old question mark now of who is ultimately going to win out in this sideways battle. Are the Bulls going to win out with a breakout through 1250? Are the Bears going to win with a breakdown through 1150? That'll be the big question mark moving forward. But that doesn't take away from the fact that there are now just two uh, very, very well-defined levels at 1250 resistance and 1150 support. Next one, NIO. Again, very nice move here, mainly from the technical point of view. Got the break through this tread line here that I'd previously talked about. And that's where our first update comes into play. As I've already mentioned, levels of resistance are broken and closed above. You want to see them act as support. And that actually already happened a couple of times. So there's a gap up above that tread line. Price came down here, found some support right there. Later on, came down. Didn't hit it exactly, but got within the general vicinity, found some support. So moving forward, that key level is going to be right there around, let's just call it $14.25 as that main level. Like I said, from the support side of things, and then from more of an overarching level, you have that purple line there, which is now starting uh, to trend upwards, which is the 50 period moving average valued at $13.80. But again, that if the price can now stay above that green line right there, that would certainly be best case scenario. In terms of levels of resistance, as I've talked about in a couple other charts, all about that pink line up there, which you now know is the 200 period moving average, currently valid at, let's just call it $15.50. But all in all, very nice move on the day. Next one, INDO, and I like this one because there's a very, very well-defined pattern here. So I wanna be very clear, I'm not trying to come across like this is a great discovery or that I have some sort of special talent. Nothing like that. I assure you a lot of people will be watching this pattern. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same patterns, wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. Now, there are no guarantees, but my point here is, is it plausible? Is it valid to think that any sort of these breakout type movements could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So the level here that... I'm quite confident a lot of people have drawn is right there at 1875 as that level of resistance. And then as far as supports, people are just going to be watching that 200 period moving average, that pink line there right now valued at 1685. But it maybe make this a bit easier to see. Let's just use all one color. So we have again our resistance here. We have our support there. We have the big momentum move right there, and this would be known as a bull flag pattern. So if you like to play bull flag patterns, then this one definitely belongs on your watch list. Next one, RBLX, interesting setup here because the setup is taking place within a general overall context right now of bullishness, meaning if you look at these lows, these lows have been getting higher and higher, including today where the low is right there. So like I said, it's trending upwards. Now I get it, This is there's a matter of perspective in the sense of if you're a day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes, well then yeah, from that perspective, the chart looks really, really bad for you. But I'm making these comments more so from a general standpoint. So yeah, I do get it that the price pulled back from those highs uh, of the day, but looking at multiple days, you can see these stair steps are still making their way in the upwards direction. And that's where I think, uh, not think, there's gonna be a lot of people watching this level right here. Cause I mean, look at how these levels have just, uh, you know, coincide with one another. We have the purple line 50 period, pink line 200 period. And you can see those levels have basically come out to being the same exact value. So $30, I'm just gonna round up, is gonna be a level that a lot of people will be watching. And that doesn't mean that it'll for sure hold a support. But again, going back to, is it at least a plausible, is it at least a valid area to be looking at on the chart? Absolutely. So nobody could accuse you of saying $30 is just some random dart throw area. No, there's a lot of sense and logic that goes into keeping an eye on that area. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, that level here that stands out to me is that resistance right there. So again, no such thing as a guarantee, but is it valid? Is it plausible to think that if the price recovers and can get a push up through that tread line, that that break could cause some you know, extra buying to occur? Yeah, that is a more than plausible thought. Next one, SOFI, and a nice move today, although interesting dynamic here as I speak last 30 minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and call it a break. So first update here, is that the price did get above that level of resistance, so you would wanna see it act as support, which going back to, as you can see right here, the price is now sitting, doing battle right at that level. Uh, technically speaking, it's slightly below it, but the thing with supports resistances, they're not exact specific prices. There is a range element associated with it. So in my opinion, at least, I'm still gonna consider this a level of support. So the price has broken above it, but now the main and initial question mark moving forward is can the price continue to you know just chop around and maintain that level before heading back up because 
from an overall standpoint, these lows have been getting higher and higher. Once again, I like I said earlier, if you're a day trader, you bought right there, you wanted to buy and sell within seven minutes. Okay, from that perspective, things are looking rough, but from the overall standpoint, uh, the price still has plenty of opportunity to chip away and build its higher base. So let's see if the price can stay up there right above, uh, you know, that $6.90 mark. As far as next levels of resistance are concerned, key level gonna be right here at $17.15, you can see right there, rejected the price. And then that's also where the price had some problems right there today. But overall, the uptrend continues. Next one here, TWTR Twitter, and the drama continues, and it continues uh, to, to fall apart. I mean, getting very, very unknown here, but within the unknown, there can be some certain, you know, certainly some opportunity here. Uh, but with, with situations like this, you definitely need to be able to, to manage risk because you just never quite know what's going to play out. But point here being is this is now pulling back quite a bit with $36 being the next very interesting level. Down, in fact, let me squeeze this out some more just so you can see where it's coming from. You can see that previously this, you know, had some history right around this area right there. Price broke above it, found some support at the bottom part of this general range right here. I realize that it's hard to see uh, because that's just because we're going way back to March to look at some of these levels. But, you know, generally speaking, like I said, for $36, very interesting level. Uh, but once again, you gotta be able to manage risk because it, it, who knows, maybe the price gets to 36 and then just like a warm knife through butter keeps on going down. So don't turn into a bag holder, don't hold and hope. Uh, but if you can be disciplined, if you can honor stop losses, then from a, uh, you know, a risk versus reward standpoint, you could structure yourself some very uh, logical trade plans here. In terms of the near term and levels of resistance, main level to just watch and more so the near term, going to be that tread line right there. So keep a close eye on that, which right now sits right around, let's call it $38.50. But yeah, a lot of downwards pressure clearly here on Twitter, but all it takes is one sort of spark and you never know what kind of snapback type movement you could get. Next one, TSLA Tesla and traded this one today. Uh, did decent on it. Uh, did better on NVIDIA, but that's neither here nor there. But point being, I do watch Tesla very, very closely every day and um, ideally traded every day. Uh, but you know, that always depends. But main levels here that I'll be watching tomorrow. So I'm more so kind of just talking out loud and uh, you can be a fly on the wall with, you know, as far as the levels that I'll be personally caring about. But going into Tuesday, this support zone down here that I've drawn, I, I think has a good chance of potentially being tested. Uh, of, of course, no guarantees. But as far as if the price does get down to su that support zone, then I have absolutely no idea at all what it will want to do. But it's certainly an area worth watching, which again is the whole idea of a watch list, right? Find unique situations, find interesting locations, and then watch them and then see how the price behaves. And then if you know it behaves in a way that fits your personal strategy, then you could potentially make a move on it at that point in time. So definitely curious about this support zone, which you know, let's just call it 705 down to the 700 mark. If there is any sort of attempted bounce back in the upwards direction, then that main area of resistance that I'll be watching is gonna be that purple line there, the 200 period moving average, or excuse me, the 50 period moving average, which right now I'm just gonna round up to right around $750. But like I said, the, the most interesting dynamic and the level that I think uh, you know, catches my eye the most is gonna be the support zone down here, but who knows, it's Tesla. Maybe it'll gap up massively tomorrow. You never quite know with Tesla, but given the kind of general trend of things right now, uh, it, it seems odds more likely than not that the price at least retest that support zone down there, but we'll see what happens. And you know, that'll be the main level that I'm very curious about. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, like I said earlier, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about this tool and how it can be used to help build consistency, then certainly get signed up for the class. Like I said, it'll be later on this week, Thursday, May 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you'd like for me to continue to make videos like this, then do me a favor and do two things. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment. Those two things communicate to me that you enjoy. And as long as I know people are enjoying these top 10 videos, I will continue to put in the time and effort to create these sort of uh, videos for you. So again, get signed up for that free class later on in the week. Hopefully I'll see you there. Everybody take care. Have a good one.